Hello guys, how's it going? Um, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to uh, use Spark to read uh, data from HDFS as a data frame. So um, I've already started my HDFS, I mean for my Hadoop, and um, so as you can see, I'm able to access Hadoop from the UI and the data I want to read is this uh, is this football stats .json data in players data directory so um, if I go back to the tab 9 you will see um, here in, in the Hadoop directory we have a uh, players data and inside the players data we have the uh, football start.json file so that is the file i want to read so um in order to read uh use uh, i'll be using spark shell on the cli so so it, it, if you want to basically use Spark to read data from adfs um you need to start hive meta store because hive and uh, like agfs they are um, and spark they are connected so you have to start hive first otherwise you'll be getting some error um so if i go back to um and you need to make sure you install all of them um in my previous video i showed i drop a link um so that you'll be able to i mean if you haven't installed this software you can use that link to install them so um they uh let me show you the page so it's basically a github page from um i think this it was created by this guy so i basically fucked it and uh, so you can install uh virtual box and your ubuntu and uh, so you can install java hadoop kafka spark and everything um that you need and you can install a uh, hive from here in step three and then um, you can set up your the uh, bash profile uh, to basically um uh, have your um, um, I mean your this thing, local variable store in the bash profile so everything becomes easy, easier for you and uh, so there is a section where you can install MySQL and uh, install HBase also you will get a chance to install um, Airflow as well so yeah that is that and I will drop the link again in this video. So what I need to do first is basically go to the uh, Hive uh, uh, home. So this is the Hive home. If I use LS, you will see we have in directory. So um, so what I want to do basically is basically use this command Hive service metastore to basically study high metastore and then so they have starting high metastore server so what i need to do is basically uh spark uh, basically uh start spark um so if i echo uh, spark home spark home so if you don't like have a, a a command variable, I mean the uh, local variable um, um, configured, you have to go to the the uh, directory of this where you install Spark and go to go into the bin directory. You will see Spark shell. So that Spark shell is what we basically start spark for you some people use pi spark for um kind of uh, currently working with scala in my company so um, 
a USB spark shell I'm using Scala so use spark shell to start the spark spark shell um, so you can see it's starting spark right now and if you see this you see you can set the lock level to error or money or I think in the current uh, state it's it is set to money so so in case you set it to error it will basically um, not log anything on the console after you've cut your data frame unless there is an error so um, you can see we are using uh, a spark context as SC and uh, the master is basically using all the cores in our uh, system local system and uh, the spark session is available as spark so if you're writing code right if you're writing code you have to basically um, if you are writing spark application you have to basically define a spark session as spark so the spark session will be there but in the spark shell it's already uh, made available for you as spark so you can just go ahead to use it you don't need to create a, like a, a spark session so um so what i need to do here is basically um, so what i would do is basically try to create a data frame df var df equal to um equal to spark dot weight dot formats the format is going to be json right json dot load and the if i since i want to use a uh, read data from hadoop HDFS, I will use a uh, Hadoop directory file uh, HDFS file system. I think that's what it means here. Yeah? Uh, and then double force last, then I will specify my local host. My local host is 9000. And then I will, so the directory of the data I want to read is going to be. Let me check again. So it's going to be this one. Players data, then players start uh, football game, football start the JSON. It's going to be this and then copy paste. So players data football start the JSON and then um so I think that is it. Um, I need to remove this double. Okay, yeah. So if I press enter, okay, what is that? So I'm getting it right there. Um, so spot the read of my JSON HDFS localhost 9000 players data football start JSON. Hmm. Why am I getting this error? Uh, it's about to read the format JSON. Um, error identifier expectable. Okay. What's the identifier? Okay. Let me put a string. A string. Okay, I guess because I didn't put the um, the directory as string, that's why I was getting that error. Okay. So now I can write, I can now uh, type df dot show to basically show the data frame. You can see this the data type here is uh, so the data type here is a data frame so of the Apache the spider support data frame and we are uh, the appearance so big int and um, I said big int like 
so this is the appearance it comes as a, as a big int and uh, this also as a big int integer so something like that so basically this is the data frame you have uh, the number of uh, player appearance uh, um, that the players have and the number of assists the first name of the players the number of goal score um, the players ID and the last name and the number of minutes played since um, and the players rating the club and so on so so when you read data frame, frame it's going to show you the first twenty roles you, you can go ahead and specify the number of uh, record you want to uh, you want it to show in the dot show method maybe 80 something like that all right um that is that for this video i just want to quickly show you how to read the data frame also um you you can if you want to write an application you can basically write your application from scratch so it has to be in a in an editor like maybe visual studio code or or intellij idea when i'm writing PySpar, i usually use uh, uh, visual studio code or when i'm writing in Scala, i use intellij so this is basically a complete application that is uh, basically reading data from from uh, hdfs and basically transforming the data and after all the transformation um so after all the transformation i'm basically uh, um, storing the data in a cassandra database so that is basically how your spark app i mean spark application will look like in real life all right yeah that is it for this video thank you for watching have a lovely day don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button and leave a comment i hope to see you next time um goodbye